In other news this hour, scared to go back to school? Well, that's how a 14-year-old Cape Town schoolgirl feels after her hair was set alight by a bully. Her parents are disappointed by how the school has handled this incident, but the school has refused to comment on the matter. Meanwhile, the Education Department says a disciplinary hearing is underway while both pupils receive counselling. ENCA's Nobesutu Hechana reports. I feel shy and embarrassed to go back to school, but I really want to go back to school because at the end of the day I'm missing out on a lot of schoolwork, so I have to complete my school because I mean it's... Um, COVID has brought us through tough times and we need to cooperate with our teachers. It was this bullying incident recorded with a cell phone that was shared on social media. Other pupils in the class at the time looked over and laughed while this grade 8 pupil was being traumatized. She was taking out her school books to study when a boy in her class poured what looks like an energy drink and set her hair on fire. She says it isn't the first time that he targeted her. It's the third incident, but the first time it was just calling me names and throwing, with my, throwing me with papers and things. But now the third incident, this is the third time he tried to do something. So, Her family says after finding out that this was a repeat incident, are unhappy with how the school has been addressing bullying. What hurt me the most when it happened, the schools found the boy's parents to come fetch him. But the other granny was found almost home time. And they didn't want to tell the granny what happened. She was traumatized. But the boy went down first. The province's education department says it's investigating the allegations of previous bullying. This is, of course, something that will also um, that will be dealt with at the disciplinary hearing. Um, the, the learner's um, disciplinary history or record at the school um, will, of course, also be um, considered when they decide on a sanction. The family has since opened an assault case. Nobesutu Ejana, Cape Town.